Are you now changing your tune on the Greek Freak? Yes, I am. And I need, I need everybody to understand this because I wanted to bring this subject up today in front of this Philly crowd, and I'm dead serious with what I'm about to say. Let me get this listen, obvious. Hey, Let me get this obvious out of the way. Number one, I was disappointed in LeBron last night, even though it was the end of a six-game road swing. You know, you're going up against a marquee guy, and once again, you're playing the right way, or you're seeing fatigue, whatever. These nationally televised games we're looking forward to, you looking for those dogs to, like, feed you a little bit. And that's not what happened last night, but that's no big deal. I'm looking at Giannis, who's averaging 31 and 12. All right, fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Milwaukee Bucks are, like, 25 and 4. Mm-hmm. They won 18 straight before losing the other night. They've won 19 of their last 20. In the 29 games they have played this year, Giannis scored 14 points once in a blowout win over Cleveland. He scored 22 points another game, 24 points another game. Outside of those three games, he has had a minimum of 26 points every single game and a minimum of nine rebounds every game with the exception of two. And then you look at Philadelphia, who I have coming out of the East. And here is my issue. The Greek freak is a monster. He is coming. He don't have any friends. He doesn't work out with anybody in the offseason. He doesn't want to partner with anybody. He don't want to get along. He got an attitude for, against anybody who's not wearing the same uniform as him. If you are a star, in my estimation, like Joel and B, you have to see this and say, yo, I got to step my game up. Because let me tell you something. If Joel and B, if Joel and B does not step up and start playing like the monster, my man, chill out, hold on, I got this. When you sit up there and you think about Joel and B, and what he brings to the table, it's not enough, Max. He's got to step up. He's the only man, in my estimation, in the Eastern Conference that has a snowball's chance, and you know what, of answering what the Greek freak is coming with. Well, look, I actually agree that the Sixers match up best with Milwaukee if they can unlock what's there, especially defensively, by the time the playoffs roll around. That doesn't mean I take them over Milwaukee, but they're the best defensive matchup for Milwaukee. Welcome to the party. I mean, you know, when it comes to the Greek freak, I was trying to tell you last year about this whole thing. I'm not trying to work out with players from other teams. I'm not, you know, he, he's trying to stay in Milwaukee. At least that's what he's saying. Like, we'll see if they can get him another star if they don't win the championship this year. But I love everything about the Greek freak. Here's the difference between him and Embiid and him and Simmons. Simmons, they have not built a team around. They built a team around Antetokounmpo. So even though they do certain things similarly, and took the combo every year got better, even though they were very similar at the same age. When you look, and Simmons is kind of flatlined on offense. Okay. Embiid has a chance to be the best big in the world if he's not already. And took the combo has a chance to be the best player who ever lived. He has a chance. He's averaging five threes taken a game. I was hanging out with my homeboys, Jalen and Jacoby. I don't know if you met them. Yeah. And, um, Jalen Rose pointed out, Max is hitting 32% of his threes this 33. year. 33. 33 now. And I looked it up. He's like, oh, wait, he's taking over five threes a game. Took eight yesterday. But the, he's not a pure shooter. He's going to have to take them to get better at him. And unlike Simmons, he's not scared to shoot them. He shoots them. And I always thought if, if Antetokounmpo added a three-point shot, he's the best player ever. That's the guy. Not LeBron, not Shaq, not, not Kobe, not any of the guys we saw come post-Jordan. That's the guy maybe if he could shoot from the outside, I'll have to give it up one day and say, all right, I saw someone better than Jordan. But it's not just the shot. It's the handles. He handles well for a big. But what I saw last night is a guy being able to go get his own shot, not just because he could shoot, but because he could put it on the floor a little more. And if that happens, they'll yeah. win the whole thing this but, year. Are you but, Still taking Philly out of the East? I'm leaning against them. I'm still going to hold on for dear life, but I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And let me tell you something. And this is my point. The basketball analysis, we got that part. Here's my issue. I have a real problem with the fact that you see a monster like this coming and you don't answer. In other words, you have to, you, you, it's incumbent upon you as a star in this league. If you see somebody that you know a confrontation is imminent, 
You got to elevate your game. Is that Simmons or Embiid? I, I, I think that's Embiid. Both. I think that's Embiid. You got to answer that call. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.